we moved to Woodstock before my son turned 13. He was probably 11. By now, I'm having discussions with my mother. Comes to visit us, and she says, well, when is Charlie going to be bar mitzvah? I said, well, I'm not sure. I mean, we're not practicing. We're not, we don't have a, a Jewish household. It's inconsistent. Well, it was very hard for my mother, and I can appreciate that. But I said to her, and I'll never forget that, I said, Mom, you are further away from your background than I am from mine. I mean, the leap. She says, yes, but there is a limit. Of course, she set it. She set the limit. Who's, who's to say what the limit is? The limit for me was to be honest about it. And had I lived in New York, he would probably have been bar mitzvah because my mother wouldn't have been able to hold her head high if her grandson was in bar mitzvah and invited the family and the friends. But we were in Poughkeepsie. It was difficult. And my sister, who lived in Belgium at the time, invited my mother to go over there so that she would be there on my son's 13th birthday. So she was not in, in the US. But she had said to me, if Charlie's not bar mitzvah, I'll never set foot in your house. Uh, I didn't believe her, and I didn't have to believe her, because she wrote my son a wonderful letter that I still have because my son loses things. She met up. We met up. And it was fine.